I'm going to be the first therapist to tell you exactly what to do. Welcome to Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. That's me. I'm the group. Okay, I'm the consulting group. We are a one-stop shop here. We do it all here. In-house. I'm the group. You're the group. If you watch this show, you're in the group. If you help on this show, you're in the group. We're a group. It's elastic. Okay, welcome to Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. How can I help you? How can I help you? What do we think of that? Because I'm a consultant on so many things. I really am a consulting group. We do fashion. We do finance. We do relationship. We do animals. What don't we do? It's the Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. Welcome. Now, I asked Bryson to make a card to drop the name. And I thought, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I said, I want a black card just to drop it. We're not doing any graphics yet. Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. Did I tell him make Robbie Hoffman this big and consulting group this big? No. Did I think they would all be the same size? Absolutely. Did I tell him to highlight Robbie Hoffman over consulting group? I did not. It is amazing what the male brain is incapable of hearing. It, it really is amazing. I said a black card, Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. Pretty straightforward. Now we got a black card. We got Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. But we got the font. You can barely see Consulting Group. I found myself going like this. What does it say? What's the name? But that's it. We're the consulting group in many ways. This is a return to my early audit years. I'm picturing, and we're going to bring Bryson on to explain himself soon, but I am picturing an old school shop, maybe on the corner of some town, a little audit firm, a little business firm, a little consulting group, carpeted corridors, a return to my audit roots in many ways. R.H., CG is leading firm in its field, building unparalleled cross-industrial synergies. Exactly. You know what, Annika? That might be our tag. That might be our lag line. Jess, if you're listening to this, please screenshot, grab that comment. We might have ourselves a log line. It's me, Robbie Hoffman, the consulting group. It made so much sense. And in many ways, and I don't know if they're watching, but we all mocked. I went through all the names. And when I came up with this name, I realized, wow. Somebody was close. Somebody was close. Did, did I applaud this suggestion when it came in? No, I mocked it. I mocked it. It, in fact, wasn't even the caller. It was the spouse or significant other of a caller who suggested consult often with Robbie Hoffman. And I scoffed. I could not see what he saw. And this is the story of an underdog. This is a classic underdog tale we have here. Where a name we hated most somehow permeated its way to the top. Now, it wasn't there in full form yet. Okay, it was not completed. It was rough around the edges. We could not see what it was yet. But in my return to who I was and where I started, I always thought of myself having consulting. My sister Kaya always dreamed that somebody in her family would have a law firm called Hoffman and Hoffman and Hoffman. We've always liked firm terminology. We are business people with business acumen. Welcome to the first ever Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group episode. Is this unbelievable? Is this unbelievable? Are you guys hitting that call in line? 802-427-7286. Do you know what you're calling in for? You're calling in for the chance to win a now vintage Dyke Vice sweatshirt, which no, has not come and arrived yet. There it is on the website on planetscum.live slash merch. For those of you who do not win the sweatshirt, get the sweatshirt while you can. While you still can, they are sold out in three sizes already and they are running out planetscum.live slash merch. Did my sweatshirt come in time for the, for the episode? No. No, it didn't. 
Because is our merch slot, uh, website anti-Semitic? You better believe it is. Okay, is it racist? Does it go to Canada? It does not. It does not. So we have lots of issues. We have lots of issues. I don't have the sweatshirt right now, but I guarantee we're going to have it by next week, in which case whoever wins tonight, I will sign it on camera for you next week and ship it out. And who do you think is going to pay for shipping? You think it's going to be Bryson and the team of planets come down? It will not. It will be me. So what are we doing? We're supporting the show. We're watching the show. We're calling in the show. And we're supporting the show at planetscum.live. Drop down Dyke Vice, which will now be Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. Drop down Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. In the drop down. And we are paying not what you can on this show. We're paying the most that you can on this show because this is the show that gives you the most. What other show can you call in and ask about any facet of life and get the answer right there? This is the Jesus of all talk shows. Did Jesus not know? Jesus knew everything. Guess who else knows everything? Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. That's who. You have any type of problem, you call Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. We got you. Okay? We got a lot of people in the queue. This is something I like to see. The new show is popping off already. We got a lot of you in the queue wanting to win this sweatshirt. And you're going to tell me why you think this vintage Dyke Vice sweatshirt should be yours. You're going to tell me. And we're going to pick based on your answer, based on your intentions, if this vintage Dyke Vice sweatshirt should be yours. <sighs> Guys, we're now on YouTube. As you know, it was a clusterfuck when everybody was on the same YouTube channel. Now we're all having to do our own YouTubes, and YouTube's not going to do itself. I'm putting these episodes up there weekly. I will put this episode up tomorrow night. Even though the website that Bryson sent me to download these videos is full of viruses and basically makes my computer unfunctional, I will still get this episode to you because there's nothing I can't do. You're following me. On YouTube, Robbie Hoffman one. Okay, just look up Robbie Hoffman. You'll see me there. You're subscribing. You're smashing the like. And more importantly, even if you've watched this episode, you're watching it again. We need those views or the YouTube will be no long. And the people, the people who message me from Australia who don't get to watch the show live will say, why didn't you put it on YouTube? I can't watch live. It's Australia. And I'll say, well, nobody clicked. Nobody clicked on the video. They're not giving it a lot of views. So if you're watching this show, you're also Saturday playing the video again, even on mute, you're giving it views. You're following me across all social platforms, Robbie Hoffman on Instagram, and I am Robbie Hoffman on Twitter, where I just dropped a semi-viral tweet for you. It's not nothing. As always, I'm here for you 24-7. This does not change with Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. In fact, we doubled down. We haven't figured out the new voicemail yet, but our voicemail is still active. If I am not, if you're not able to watch Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group 24-7 Consultation Hotline. Here we go. I like this one, Bryson. 702-706-3953, which I believe is still Dyke. For those who know, you know. You'll know what that was. So again, put that hotline once more, Bryson. 702-706-DYKE, 3953. I am here for you 24-7 with the consulting hotline. With that said, Bryson, hit me with the voicemail we got this week. If you're in the queue, wait in the queue. This is going to be worth your while tonight. Here's the voicemail. <laughs> Hello, this is Chad Ryden. I don't know if I do deserve a Dyke Vice sweatshirt. I want one um, of course. because I really want to be put in a position to have to explain myself to people for wearing it around. I, I want to tell people what it is and why I'm wearing a shirt that says Dyke Vice, or sweatshirt that says Dyke Vice. I need that in my life. All right. Thank you. Bye. I respect I respect the man who wants to be canceled. You don't see that enough. 
This dude doesn't have enough problems in his life. He now wants to be canceled wearing the slur across his chest. Now, I'm assuming a lot here. I don't know how this person identifies, but if that's the case, kudos to them. I would respect it more. Okay, that's a fair... We're starting off strong with these reasons for why people should win the sweatshirt. I don't know, you know... Oh, it's Chad. There we go. He said it off the top, but it's still a little... Thing. You know what, Chad? You might be right. You might need this. This is a great conversation starter. Chad brings up a very good point. Somebody stops you on the street. Why are you wearing dyke? Well, I happen to be a really big fan of a dyke. What are they going to say? What are they going to say? Oh, I like dyke so much I wore it on my chest, as a matter of fact. You know, that's a pretty fucking good reason. Chad is at the top of the list already. Granted, he's one of one. He's one of one. We'll see who else is on the line. I am also starting my new catchphrase when I answer a call at the Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. Hi, Robbie Hoffman speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Robbie Hoffman speaking. How can I help you? What do we think of that? What do we think of that? Bryson, can we go over the graphics ideas a second here? And if yeah. Forrest is able and willing, everybody hold the line. Do not get out of the queue. You will not win the sweatshirt. Bryson, you got it close with the black. With this, that was just a temp card. Where's Bryson? He's quitting. I didn't realize that we were coming on. Okay, hold on a second. I'm, I'm, I'm screen what do you sharing mean he a doesn't, thing. What it, he doesn't realize. I d wasn't sure if you meant for me. He posted it on Instagram today. I know that you know this. <laughs> I'm saying in that very moment, I wasn't sure. Hey, guys, you, you know what I want? I want the business acumen to come through. Okay, now I don't know how to share my screen, but when you look up consulting group, Show me some of the graphics that come up. Maybe, Bryson, you can put it on your screen. <laughs> this is, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I'll look yeah. it up, too. What? Yeah, I've got I've got a consulting group logo already uh, queued up. Here we go. Consulting group see. logos. Oh. Let me see. Where's the stream? Yes. Okay, so go up. You know, like, I, I like to keep up still. I like these designs, like that triangle. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. They always have some sort of glyph, you know? They, they have some sort of, like... Simple thing mm -hmm. next to some text. First of all, we're getting, I'm seeing in the comments, hey, Rob, are you hiring an administrative assistant that feels so someone in your position, such prestigious firm, deserves mm -hmm. support? This is, mm -hmm. These are very interesting opportunities. I love all this, these consulting groups. They send, you're seeing Deloitte. You're seeing some of the firms that I come from. You're mm -hmm. seeing this GFA consulting. That's my shit right there, Bryson. GFA? You see that mm -hmm. GFA? Oh, this one? I mm -hmm. keep thinking that when I put my cursor on it, you can see my cursor. Can you see my cursor? <sighs> cannot, cannot. Okay. And you also, know what? If, if, also, if Adobe comes up with anything during the show, that's also. That is you us. because that's that godforsaken website you have us downloading these things on that I have virus, 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 no. virus. Doesn't answer my emails. I sent three emails. What's happening with this website? Okay, let's keep going. What do you think of these, Bryce? Just your, and, and Forrest, please, yeah. I know that you guys work on graphics together. So it's like, you guys, this is what you do. I like I the mean, Boston Consulting Group. Very slick. Okay. That is slick. You that know, slick. And, and maybe there's something we could do to keep the colors. Like, you know what I mean? Like the pink. Yeah. Maybe there's like an homage to what we were doing, but mm, keeping it very huh? simple. I'm not looking. We're looking to be clear and helpful to folks mm. who need it. What about something like this, Robbie? Like doing you know, that, some, no? That's, That's too too modern. It's okay. not. I'm like, what is it? I, I don't like mind modern if it's like freedom. What do you like for us? I like I like the idea of the glyph, partially because like the Dykeface, the great sweatshirt right here mm. has the has the oops, on this side has the shield, and so having a glyph lines up pretty nicely with that. And there's like an I'm homage sorry. to this for the layman. A glyph. What did you say it's called? I was calling it a glyph. It's the little like the BCG. Logo with the letters, the word, or the letter mark, I suppose, is probably the more technical term, or even the mountain, which just of something like, would tie in with that. Sort of like how there's always some sort of like yeah. small, typically squarish logo that's to the left where there's text. Oh, to the right I love that. Thing, I love yeah. that. Like Pathways Consulting Group, I like yeah. Groundswell Consulting Group. Now Listen, Robbie, we're about to take over the consulting oops. business. <laughs> Robbie, I did, I did prep something, and I'm glad Forrest oh. is here. Um, I mean, I oh. didn't. Outside of the temp stuff, I didn't prep a whole lot, but that glyph thing was coming up. So a the whole glyph, heck of a it's lot. all it's blowing up in the comments. People are, are confused with the glyph. 
not to be confused with the GIF. Not to be oh, not a GIF. GIF. This, but, no offense, Bryson was terrible. Well, I mean, Robbie, in my why defense, why is consulting group? Why can't I read it? Is, do in, I need a new prescription? What's going in, on? In my defense, Robbie, the last time that you and I worked on the original Dykevice logo, the note that you kept coming back with was, "I need Robbie Hoffman to be as big as possible." So, <laughs> well, because Dykevice was so big, you couldn't even see who the hell was hosting it. I, I hear you. I hear you. So here's okay. here's something that I prepped. Uh, okay, what I have to have Connor in my okay. Oh my God, Jossie Joe! Listen, he's getting close. You know what, Bryson? Sometimes Bryson gives me. You guys don't even know behind for like every time I ask Bryson, he's like, "I don't know if we can do it." It's always no, and then he delivers. I don't know why he starts with the no. It's a weird thing. It must be a parenting. He had two parents, and it's this called is the way boundary he setting. Okay, boundary setting is no, and then yes. Boundary Look setting. Look at this. You're delivering with this Jossie Joe. I always deliver, Robbie. I've just been waiting for you to find that out. No, I do find that out. <laughs> making my name, making my name enormous in consulting group. Nobody can see. Bryson, can you again explain what glyph is? P uh, many people are having issues with the glyph. We we may we may not be using the right word, but in this we're... in this logo, would Jossie Joe be a glyph? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And Look so, at that. So it's the yeah. picture yeah. by the words, guys. Exactly. Okay, this is Premel really is pointing cool. out it's not the right word. Premel is pointing out that it's not the right word. Oh, okay. I... He knows. This guy works yeah. in this shit. Maybe we yeah. should get him in on the graphics, and maybe we should have a graphic pitch design competition. You guys send me, DM me on Instagram. If you got a good graphic, it could be the graphic for the show. And not to brag, but we're getting, what, 90 views on YouTube? We're getting, what, 120 views on YouTube? So it's also not nothing. Also, Robbie, uh, compensate your designers. That's the that's that's the other part. Oh, we don't compensate on this show. No, I'm we saying don't like if Forrest and I are built. I'm, you guys <laughs> want compensation? You're supporting the show at Planet Scum. Not <laughs> live. Drop down, Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. Okay, this is what you've worked on. Excellent. Well, I, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Sorry, I got it. defensive there, admittedly. I don't know why he's uh, getting defensive and anti-Semitic. It is wild <laughs> on our first episode. But what do you want to see, Robbie? Because like, No, this uh, is good. I this like this. Good. This is very good. I do think we go back to some of those, uh, those simple things as well and try and incorporate something. I'll come up with a design. Whoever wants to come up with a design, come up with one. Again, going back to that page you had before, Bryson. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have to stop screen sharing in order to do that. Yeah, let me. You know, something very classic. I want to take the consulting firm business by storm. Boston Consulting Group think is that anything on Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group? It does not. It does not. It also looks like we were just raided by Adam Conover. So hello, oh, everybody who just joined us. Hi, hello. thank you for joining Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. This is my new show. We are taking over the consulting business by storm. We are looking at logo designs. If any of you have a logo that you want to pitch, DM me the logo, and it could be the winning logo for Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group, our one-step shop, but we do it all. If you are just tuning in right now, I give all kinds of consulting help, fashion, finance, relationship, animals. Mm -hmm. With that, to celebrate mm -hmm. my new show, Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group, we are giving away a now vintage, Bryson, bring up the sweatshirt, now vintage Dyke Vice sweatshirt. Tell me why you deserve this now vintage limited quantity, planetscan.live slash merch Dyke Vice sweatshirt. For those of you who do not win the sweatshirt on tonight's episode, get it while you still can. Bryson, who do we have on the line? We have Ella and Lillian. Ella and Lillian, Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. How can we help you? Ella and Lillian, Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. How can we help you? I would like to make a proposal for why I think I should get the sweatshirt. I'm, um, I'm listening. First, okay. Um, I. All right. When I called last time about the threesome, which I canceled, um, right? You said, and these are your words, not mine, that yeah. people should be paying for Ella's call alone. So I've contributed to the show, and then you also said it was quote unquote the juiciest call in Dice Vice history. I think that makes 
some evidence for why I'm a qualified person to receive this sweatshirt. Next. Last time, you seemed pretty interested in where I was going to school just because it's kind of interesting information. You know, you learn a little bit more about me. If you send it here, you'll have to know my school address. So you'll learn what college I go to. And that, you seem kind of interested in knowing that. And then next, I live in the gender-inclusive hall in my college. So the sweatshirt will be finding a nice home. It's in a loving community of young, queer, non-binary, and trans people. And, you know, and then since I've given all these pros, I thought, I, you know, I wanted to think, are there any cons? Like, I want to be straightforward. I want to you know, give all the information. And then I thought, I was like, well, even though I do like pussy, I am not technically a dyke by most definitions, but I have my friend Lillian here, who is a dyke, to speak on my behalf, who I will be sharing the sweatshirt with. So I'm going to pass it over to Lillian, my friend. Okay, so this is a two for one. You so guys will be sharing. The sisterhood of the traveling sweatshirt. It's Go like, on. Exactly, exactly. It's a, it's a communal sweatshirt, and I want to say that there are notes involved in this presentation, so we've put effort into it. Yeah, please, um, let me know. Why do you deserve the sweatshirt, people, Lillian? Never heard of you. Well, let's focus first on Ella, which is that we haven't been friends for a long time. We've only been friends for, what, six months? Yeah. Um, but we became fast friends. Um, we have plenty in common, and I would like to say that Ella, while a wonderful um, hilarious, dynamic person, um, I think needs some enhancement and could be enhanced by a Dyke Vice sweatshirt. Um, I think that would take her over the top as, you know, a, as an excellent yeah. friend. Um, okay, a weaker point. You've had better points, but, huh? but you're nervous. It's okay. You've had better. Ella brought up some great points. She gave a juicy call. She gave a very juicy call. She's helped out the show in that way. Have you both subscribed to my YouTube channel? Yes. yes. You have, and, and you're I liking all the videos? Um, yeah. I, I didn't, I, yes, of course. And I didn't have a Twitter, but I got a Twitter in large part so I could follow you on it. Okay, and has it not been panning out? How, how fun am I on Twitter? Oh my God, it's been panning out. It's okay, I am giving so you well. semi-viral tweets. tweets. That make me so sad. Exactly. I am there lighting you up with these semi-viral tweets. tweets. That made me so sad. Well, so, I you absolutely know. will. And your tweets are like the light in the tunnel because, you know, oh, yeah, it's yeah. a lot about politics somehow that's, that's yeah. come up. All and right. your tweets so, are less devastating. Yeah. I'm a hopeful person just because I sound this way. This is, again, the Ellen complex. Ellen pitches nice, 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 and it turns out she's not so nice, nice, nice. I sound aggressive like this, but I'm nice, and I don't sound hopeful, but I happen to be very optimistic. We come in all shapes and sizes optimism. Semi-viral tweets, what am I getting? 185 likes on a tweet? It's not nothing. It's not nothing. Ella and Lillian, you have made a tremendous it's case. Nothing. You have made a tremendous case. not for my Twitter account. Exactly. You've made a tremendous case for the sweatshirt that it is communal, that it is a co-op sweatshirt traveling sisterhood of the sweatshirt brings you ahead of Chad. I'm sorry, Chad. I know you're a fan of the show, but Chad, there's many reasons people can stop and yell at you for the on the street. You don't need to be wearing dyke across your chest. Ella and Lillian, thank you for calling. You are now the front runners of the sweatshirt. Bryson, who do we have? Next on the line. We have Susie from Mississippi. Susie Hello. from Mississippi, speak to me. Hello. Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group here. How can I help you? How, why do you think you deserve the now vintage Dyke Vice sweatshirt? As you know, we will be making new merch, Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. These are now in limited quantity. The Dyke Vice with Robbie Hoffman sweatshirt i got my hands on one last of them to give away to one lucky caller susie why do you deserve this hot item um well first of all i am a dyke um, solid point solid all, case i yeah solid point second of all trans dyke third point following you on instagram that's a hat trick that's of course. If you're not following me on Instagram, stop watching the show. Go home. I am Robbie Hoffman on Twitter. Robbie Hoffman on Instagram. Oh, it's great. I'm giving you nudes. 
What am I giving you? Post op nudes? <laughs> it's not nothing. You went to you did the Friday night services for a while. They were yeah. wonderful. Thank you. We're bringing in Shabbos together, some positivity in this dark world. You're bringing up some very good points, Susie. Continue to build your case. Why do you deserve this hot item, which I do think will go for a high value on the resale ma uh, market? There's a big resale potential for this item. Go on. Yeah. I mean, you know, this is just. I feel like like Dyke Vice as a name is really is really claiming, you know, really claiming that queer aspect of the identity and being like, this is a power, this is a strength, this is something I am using not only to help myself but to help other people, you know. Yeah. And so I mean, like, regardless if it goes to me, you know, like I I do feel like like I would love for it to go. To like a queer person, I'd love for it to go to a dyke. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense because you know what, Susie, thank you for calling in. You make a very strong case. Susie is now in the running for the vintage dyke vice sweatshirt. Thank you, Susie, for calling. I think Susie brings up a great point. A lot of people are going, Why are we watering down the show? I thought only dykes could call in. First of all, that was never the rule. It's called Dyke Vice because I'm the dyke who gives advice. It doesn't matter who calls in. But then I'm getting all these DMs, people going, well, I'm a cis dude. Why can't I call in? I said, you better believe you're the one who should call in. Believe me, I have advice for you. So the consulting group, we're opening up. We're letting those with the real problems call me. Believe you me, these are the people who should be calling. And at Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group, there's nothing we don't do. We are a one-stop shop. Top to bottom. Susie makes a great case. And I don't want to hear people going, R-H-C-G, that C-G is Chris Gethin's name. You don't think I thought of that? Am I here to just troll him? I'm not here to troll him. I don't give a shit to troll him. He trolls himself. He trolls himself. Okay? It is not lost on me. We are now reclaiming his initials for the better. I think Consulting Group looks a lot better than Chris Gethard, don't you? Don't you? Bryson, it is getting so competitive out there for this vintage sweatshirt. Who do we have on the line? I also got an email, which if you can remind me to take, I got an email. Let me look my email and see. Somebody is emailing me. You know you have the 24 seven hotline. The consultation hotline, 702-706-3953. You don't got to be emailing me. But alas, here we go. Dyke Vice. Should I get another caller? Let's see what this email is. Robbie, it just dawned on me. You are going to have to record a new voicemail message. We're going to have to do it, and hopefully we've gotten a sound bite here. What do you think, Bryce, is with me? How welcoming am I now saying when we pick up the phone, I go, Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group, how can I help you? I think you're is doing, that nice? I think you're doing great. I think is that it, nice? It's very uh, the intentionality is very nice. Thank you. I don't know where this email is. Oh, here we go. No. You know what? I don't even have it. I had it somewhere. I gotta look. Okay, get me. Give me a sec. What is this person? Here we go. I got it. Dear Dyke Vice. That's got to change. I'm not saying you got to re-email me. I'm annoyed you emailed me to the begin with. You know we got the hotline. There's no reason to be emailing me. You're following me on all socials and you got the hotline. Dear Dyke Vice, I have $2,000 to spend on a car. Nothing to do with the sweatshirt. What car should I buy? Again, you can call me about anything. What car should I buy? Please tell me on the next episode. Thanks, Sean. Sean, $2,000 to buy a car. Now, I have an affinity for old cars. As you all know, I bought a gorgeous 1983. Bryson, can you get up my car so people understand what I'm dealing with? I, 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 I'll, I'll try to find that link. 1983 Toyota Corolla Liftback. Okay? Toyota Corolla Liftback. 
You can get cheap old cars that are mint. If you like an older car, which I do, I like the clickety nature of old things. I like tactile feelings in a car. I don't like a button to turn my shit on. I love to drive. I love feeling the car and driving. It gives me freedom. It's something I daydreamed about as a kid in cities only. I never got to drive. So on the subway, I'm doing the bus. Everybody goes in LA, you got to drive. You got to drive. And I go, yeah, so what is it? It beats New York where you're sitting next to somebody who's wiping their nose from here to here on the subway. No, I'm in my car, my girl, my tunes, my shit. Bryson, can we bring up a, a baby blue 1983 Toyota, Toyota Corolla liftback? That's my were, van. I thought you were asking for Toyota the van. Corolla liftback. Did anybody hear me ask for the van? Can we in the comments? Hey, it's that. Should I get a Toyota? Yes. Okay, Toyota Corolla liftback 1983. 1983, we have to really like spoon feed. 1983, Toyota Corolla, lift back. Okay, blue. Put blue in the thing. Let's not, no, not that blue. That's a fake blue. They never made that color. There we go. The second picture, that's my exact car. I bought that one. That, that's the guy. That's my picture. Okay, zoom it, zoom it. People can't see nothing. When I tell you guys this car has been fucking phenomenal, I've had it, what, four years now? When I moved to L.A., I said, you got to have a car. And why not have fun with it? Can I tell you this car, every mechanic I bring this to, do your oil check, change your oil every three months or every 3,000 miles, I should say. Keep the car. This will go to 500K miles. This shit is my shit. This gets me to every meeting. Believe me. Every general, every pitch, every everything that I do, I'm doing in this car. It is a simple, amazing driving car. This is a Toyota. You got $2,000 and you're willing to go old and you live in a warm climate because when I was living in Montreal and Toronto, believe me, you can't have a car like this. You need winter tire shit and all this kind. But if you're willing to look at the older market on Craigslist, you should do that. Here is my one tip. You can bring me back, Bryson. My one tip to anybody looking for a used car, okay? I don't care if you're buying it from a used dealer like Car CarMax or whatever it is, which, by the way, the a, a huge ripoff at a lot of those places. But I don't care if you're doing that. You, you, you prefer to go to a big dealer, lots of selection. That's okay. You go to mymechanic.com and you hire a personal mechanic. They have a drop down for car inspection. I think it's a hundred bucks or 150 bucks. They will come and check out that car with you. You have an independent person. They do an hour check on the car. They will look at the fraying fucking seatbelt and get you money off. They will drive the car for a hundred bucks. You get yourself mymechanic.com. You tell them where the car is, when you're going to see it, and they will meet you there and do a full on inspection test drive with you. Okay, this $100, which at the time I didn't want to spend because I was seeing, what, three, four different cars. I'm going, it's going to be 100 bucks Each time, that's 400 bucks. The first car I went to go see was at CarMax. It was an Audi TT. Okay, now I thought this Audi TT, Audi, a pretty good company, very expensive to fix European cars. So keep that in mind if you need repairs. But I thought it was a cute little car. It was really reasonably priced. I think it was like $6,000 for this Audi TT beautiful car, beautiful blue car. The guy comes, we're 10 minutes into driving the car. The engine is overheating. He goes, they can't even sell this car. I'm pulling it from the lot. He has them pull the fucking car from the lot. And I almost spent, dropped 6,000 plus whatever to close it on this car, which you can't get back when you drive off those places. So for a hundred bucks, he, he saved me 6,000. And then when I brought him to look at this Toyota, which I was obsessed with, it was fucking mint. He comes, he looks at the car and he starts telling me what it will need. He was pretty good about it. He's like, everything transmit. If this car will go to 500 K, but you do need new tires. You do need this. You do need that. And he ended up getting me like 
a thousand bucks off the car in the negotiation. I said, by the way, I know I'm going to have to do these things. I want those pulls from the price. So I made back the hundred in so many ways. So if you're getting a newer car for $2,000, I don't think you can do that. I don't think you're going to get anything newer than 2010. And if you do, be weary of it. But if you're comfortable with an older car and some of them are built to last, get mymechanic.com. Thank you for the email. Sean, good luck with your car purchase. Bryson, let's get back to the task at hand. We have a very exclusive item, a very exclusive item giveaway on tonight's episode. It is a now vintage Dyke Vice sweatshirt from when this show was called Dyke Vice with Robbie Hoffman as of last week. It has become vintage. The resale value of this sweatshirt is enormous. This is like, I don't know if you're following Yeezy or whatever drops you like, the Supreme drops. This is times 10. We know we're going to see this on eBay for eight nine $900. Here's your chance to win one free. Who do we have on the line? Uh, it's time for the dot call. Got the dot call surprise, which the dot call is not fucking going anywhere. Dot's in the group. Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. We got the dot call. One lucky caller on every episode will get to get a call with me and dot. You get two for one. Dot, how are you? Hello, anybody who's new. I'm dot. Uh, I'm around sometimes. Dots around sometimes giving us the dot call, helping me out, giving me another perspective on the calls that we get in on this show. Dot, what do you think of Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group? Uh, I uh, love it. Uh, I was thinking uh, about my title in this group, and I would oh, like it to be Vice President of Kindness. Vice President of Kindness. Am I the President of Kindness? We know it's not Bryson. I think that you are the president. You know what? Oh, I, well, I I don't think anybody's a president other than you in this consulting group. Dot, my main homie, my main girl. Dot is now. You will all refer to Dot. Okay, this is now the law on this show. When you get the Dot call, I will say Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group speaking. With the vice president of kindness, Dot, you will refer to Dot in this way. Do you hear me? Do you understand me? Thank you. In oh, the comments. Man. I, I went from executive producer to vice president. Vice president of kindness. That's what you are. Dot, are we ready to take this first that's call that's as that's vice that's president that's of kindness with the with the Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group? Let's take this call, Robbie. Let's take this call. Bryson, who do we have on the line? We have Jake from L.A. Jake from L.A. Jake, Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group here with my vice president Hi. of kindness, Dot. How can we help you? Why do you think you should win this sweatshirt? Uh, first off, hi, Robbie. This is Jake Kroger of the Comedy Bureau. How can I help you? Hi, Jake. Look, we have we have an industry. You don't think we have industry calling into the show? People keep tabs mm -hmm. on me. I am being watched in the industry. This yes. is not nothing. This is not nothing, folks. And my business Absolutely. is a big deal to people like me. People keep tabs. I see how I'm doing over time. Jake, how are you? I I'm I would say I, I'm do, I'm improved doing better i did want to i did want to specifically call and check in because robbie hoffman consulting group gave me some great advice about trying to take care of an egregious emergency room bill uh i got advice to um apply to a medical uh, financial assistance through my insurance kaiser and while it was a big pain in the ass to do and follow up, right. they wiped my standing bill clean and all of my out-of-pocket costs until June of this year are covered. Can you imagine how much should Wonderful. Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group save you, Jake? That would be two thousand eight hundred and ninety-one dollars. Okay. That what is other not show? Nothing. What is a, what other show is saving you two thousand dollars? Robbie fucking Hoffman is. 
And you are, you guys. Yeah, are you going to use this as the pull quote? Yeah, this is the quote. By the way, this is our new voicemail. Bryson's been wanting to record a new voicemail for the show. I think it's this. Jake, that makes me so happy. And again, they put the paperwork. They put the paperwork in your way so that you don't go through with it. It is purposefully complicated and arduous work just to get that stuff through. But if you do go through it, you will prevail most times. I'm so glad to see that happen for you and that you're doing better. Um, why do you think? And I think this would be a strong enough case for the sweatshirt. She's just such a good representative of what this show does. We help people top to bottom, whether it's financial health, medical bills. I mean, I'm the jobs president. I'm the healthcare president that we never got, that we never got. And mm -hmm. you're getting it all here yeah. on Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group for right. the price of what? The price of contribute what you can at planetscum.live. Drop down Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. Absolutely. You're pitching in not pay what you can. The show isn't pay what you can anymore. It's pay the most that you can. Because what other show is, sa is saving you $2,000 in medical bills? You're supporting the show financially. You're contributing. Almost 3000 Almost 3000 Almost 3000 Almost 3000 Never mind the email of the caller buying a car for $2,000. I wasn't going to go to mymechanic.com. Could have bought a lemon and lost 2000 So think about all the not lost dollars that we have here. Uh -huh. So before you complain about, oh, I can't give to the show every week. I gave $5 last week. Believe me, you could give. In the long run, what you're saving is invaluable. Thousands of dollars. Okay, Jake, why? Yep. Why do you deserve this sweatshirt? Well, I think I am a, a, a stellar recipient of advice from Dyke Vice. That's true. And of course, as, as an LA style icon, you can check That's out my true. Instagram, not, not the supermarket. You, you know that people, people will be clocking me in, 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 the, in the hoodie and in the sweatshirt and, uh, and be asking questions. And I, of course, will shout you out at all times. This um, is a big deal, guys. Me, also, I, if my not, roommate is a militant uh, lesbian filmmaker, and she would also like it. Wow. So, okay. So, Jake, you've done two things in this. You've now upped Lillian and Ella's call. They were going to do a co-op sweatshirt sharing program, but it seems you're willing to do the same. It seems now we have two people who are willing mm -hmm. to share the sweatshirt. We have a very nice collective community watching this show, and I appreciate that. The other thing Jake does for me that none of you do for me is potentially branding. This man is out and about, and when, when we're vaccinated and we're out and about, you don't think he's going to be at shows? You don't think he's going to be repping the Robbie Hoffman fucking brand name? This is a business opportunity for me. And me here at Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group would be remiss not to consider the business opportunity of Jake having this sweatshirt for me. Jake, you've made a very strong case. A very strong case. This is going to make it a lot That's harder. Amazing. I'm very glad. Thank you for calling mm -hmm. in, Jake. Above all, I'm so glad that you're doing even a bit better. That is a huge leap from where you were even a bit better is a huge leap for some thank you for calling in you've made this decision it is, it is. a lot harder for me yeah a lot harder you may have taken the business you bringing in the business approach it's not nothing it's not nothing mm -hmm. all right okay thank Sorry you for, for making calling. it harder thank you for really being hard. you and thank you for this community oh my gosh jake we're here for you 24 7 as you know robbie Hoffman consulting group Thank you for calling. Bryson, dot, thank you for calling. We had the dot call. Dot is now the vice president of kindness. Thank you, Dot. We will speak to you next week. We will get through as many calls as we can. We are running out of time. We will take whoever is left on the line and running for this sweatshirt. In the meantime, you guys are all, all contributing. You're not just watching. You're not just following. You're contributing financially. Planet Scum, dot live. Drop down Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group or Robbie Hoffman Dyke Vice. I don't know if they've updated it yet. 
with this team? I don't know. I can't guarantee they have. You saw the Bryson black card. So who's to say? And I wish I didn't have to tell you this every two minutes. But you guys go, well, why? She saved me $2,000. Why should I get $5? Just because she saved me $2,000. Okay, do you hear yourself? I don't want to hear it. Planetscon.live, drop down, Dyke Vice or Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group to contribute financially to this show. It keeps it going. You're also subscribing to my YouTube channel. You are liking, smashing the like on every video, and you are keeping those videos playing to get those views up. Get me into this YouTube algorithm. Get me into the game. We're coming for you. We're coming. Bryson, who do we have on the line? Who is next in the running for this sweatshirt? We've got Stephen Prevel. Stephen? Hi. Stephen, hi. How are you? I'm so How are you doing this evening? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. I love the, the energy that you're bringing to the uh, Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. Hey, and that, uh, that greeting is just, it's so good. It's Thank so you. good. Thank you so much. Oh, you know what? Maybe you deserve the greeting. It's given Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group, how can I help you? And it's uh, not great. Well, time. Robbie, I'm going to make an emotional plea. Okay. We haven't had that yet tonight. I'm all ears. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, spoke, I spoke over you. I'm so sorry. What, what did you say? No, no. We have a delay here because of Bryson's phone system. Nobody is speaking over each other. We just always have to deal with the delay because we don't have enough because people aren't contributing enough at planetscom.live to get a better phone system. So now we deal with this delay. You haven't spoken over me. I'm excited to hear your gotcha. emotions for this sweatshirt. Go ahead. Well, I was able to buy a Dykevice hoodie for Lindsay as a surprise gift in late November. I remember right. Unfortunately, we could only afford the one. The one. And um, we weren't going to be able to afford another one until maybe January. Right. Lindsay received a surprise $50 windfall in December. And being the kind woman that she is, ordered it for me on December 12th. However, after three weeks, it had not been delivered and we had not heard from the company. And I just want to put this out there. We are not angry at the t-shirt company. They did everything that they could once they knew about the situation. But here's what happened. After three weeks, Lindsay sent an email to, the, uh, su to, to support. A week later, she had not heard back. So Lindsay actually scoured the internet to find a number she could call. At the end of that number was another email address, which she emailed. This person got back to her two days later saying that unfortunately, my order had been lost in the shuffle, the holiday shuffle. The, uh, the uh, distributor no longer had uh, the size that had been ordered. And um, they ultimately had to refund us. And this, however, we only found out about, uh, she ordered it December 12th. All of right. this was not revealed until the end of January. And with the Dykevice hoodie now leaving the store soon, I've basically missed out on my opportunity to own a Dykevice hoodie for myself. This is really tugging at my heart, Stephen. This is like, this is like, honestly, guys, honestly, guys, I almost feel like, like ending the whole show right now, which is giving it to Stephen. I know that would be unfair because I have to consider everybody. But this is really sick. You know, I've had my own issues with the distributor. They don't go to Canada. I don't know why. I got a sister, wants to support me, wants to support her sibling. Can't, can't get the sweatshirt. Okay, I'm hearing all kinds of these anti-Semitic oh, issues awful. are going on, okay? And it really breaks my heart that you wanted it in time for the holidays, and they didn't. And they're Baruch Hashem, they're giving you a, a refund, but it's not the same. It's not the same. Here's what I worry about, though. I myself, in buying this sweatshirt, as you know, they're late. 
I wanted this sweatshirt for tonight's episode. I was going to wear it and sign it on the episode. It would have, it would have hit so hard. You know that. Oh yeah. So a hundred percent. My my thing is, is I worry because so many of the sweatshirt sizes were out. So something I didn't even consider was I bought the biggest one I could get there, but sure. so many of the sizes were out because we are legitimately selling out of the Dyke Vice sweatshirt, which is now vintage as of last week. So I am wondering what That's size right. you order and would mine even be the right size? Oh, that could be because an you know what? This is that the first time I'm issue. considering it because you ordered one and they told you they were out of the size. That reminded me, they told my, mine was out too. I had to get the next biggest size. I don't know what it was. Oh, but I was trying to get the biggest size they had so that it could fit anyone. You know what I mean? That if I wore it, I'd be wearing like a big oversized, yeah. like Justin Bieber, like really working it. And then if a bigger guy wore it, which it's not hard to be bigger than me, they could have like a work sweatshirt, you know, something that looks decent, <laughs> that looks like, you know, they could go out in it and the whole sure. bit. So, but they were like, we don't have these sizes. So what size did you have? And then a, well, your, here's, yeah. Oh, I am, I am a gigantic person. I doubt very much whatever size you bought would, would fit me. Um, oh my but God. here's what I would like to do. Yes. I would like to take my emotional plea and throw it behind Susie's plea oh, that the shit. dyke by hoodie, at the very least, go to a dyke. And at if that happened to be Susie, like I would be so pleased because Susie is the best and she deserves the best. Wow, this is this is altruistic, folks. You're seeing Stephen Premel give his call to Susie, who called in with a very, I would argue, also an emotional and very strong argument for the sweatshirt. Should at least a dyke get the sweatshirt in the now R.I.P. Dyke Vice show? Very good point. Steven, you have tugged at my heartstrings. That's, that's what I would like to do with my call. I love that. I thank you. Well, thank you. Okay, I thank you for your generosity. And I was going to suggest that even if we if we couldn't get you the size and we got you the Dyke Vice sweatshirt, what I love is I love cutting up things and making my own clothes sometimes. And I think it would look really cool cut up on whatever sweatshirt you had, even of different color, and to do very obvious stitching. I love that oh, yeah. look. But you've already you've already contributed your call to somebody else's. We now have two votes for Susie. We now have oh, a no, heavy call coming in from yeah. Susie. You really loaded Susie's call and made it uh, – well done, Stephen. Thank you for your call. We will take whoever is left. We have a bunch more callers. We will get through them quickly. Thank you, Stephen, for calling. If you guys are watching, you're contributing, planetscum.live, you're following me on everything. Bryson, who do we have on the line? We have Annika from New York. Annika, thank you for calling in to Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. Why do you deserve the vintage Dyke by sweatshirt? I don't think that I do because I already have one. Um, so I don't want to take time away from people who do want the sweatshirt. However, yeah. um, I, I would like to say that I believe in the vision and the mission of Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. Thank uh, you. And as such, I just want to throw my hat into the ring uh, and say that I'm willing to contribute in any way that is helpful to the team. Uh, Thank I'm you. currently getting an undergraduate business degree and I have three years of work experience, including in corporate PR and financial services. I'm okay. a driven, enthusiastic team player. Okay. Problem solving. I'm passionate about creating and implementing innovative business strategies. I'm fully proficient in Microsoft Office and I have a mechanical keyboard that is very loud and clacky, which makes me seem very professional. And I love clacky and loud. That's why I have my car. Attica, what a call. This is somebody yeah. contributing to the Robbie Hoffman group. Did you guys forget the word group? Annika's offering services. Business acumen. That's what we do here on this show. Annika, we will keep your live resume on hand. Very good to know for the expansion. 
Very good to know because we will be blown up. And again, I know you can tell this, but we're getting those YouTube numbers up. We're getting those subscriptions up. We're about to blow up and we will be expanding the group. Annika could be our first ever officially outside hire for Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. On the business side of things, which you guys don't see, you just see this. You just see this. You don't know what goes into it. I might have to buy and purchase a website. You don't know. Annika is here with a live resume. Annika, we appreciate you. Thank you for this call. Bryson, who do we have next on the line vying for this sweatshirt? Uh, we have our next, Robbie, I just want to give you the quick note of you haven't been using the greeting on the phone calls as much. So I just wanted to give you because it now. doesn't work Bryson for this, for this, because we're giving the sweatshirt. It's like Robbie Hoffman consulting group. How can I help you I on a typical to... diet vice or Robbie Hoffman consult? Oh, I had a go. I had Freudian slip on a typical Robbie Hoffman consulting group call where we're giving advice. I'm going to say Robbie Hoffman consulting group. How can we help you on just the like... sweatshirt competition? It is awkward, but I appreciate you looking out. Yeah, absolutely. We've got EJ from BC. EJ from BC. EJ from BC. Now I know they're not shipping to Canada in some way. I know you're here to complain about that. No, they're not. Okay. And Bryson keeps telling me many people well, in Canada you, you are know, getting this question. It's not true. It's something about the border. I mean, I hope Biden yeah. can fix it. Yeah. It's something with the border, and they're holding so, up our sweatshirt. Uh, like Susie, I'm a dyke. As my oh. partner likes to say, I'm gay from space. Why that? Very visibly gay. And recently, like yourself, uh, just got top surgery. Mazel tov. What a, uh, so you would it know amazing? that after you have... It's the best. It's Finally, I feel like my body is my body. I My ribs are so much more prominent than they've ever been. Oh, wow. I don't know that, you know, we all have different bodies, but as you, you know, know it, 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 it's amazing feeling. It's amazing. It's, Muzzle, I wake yeah. up every day. So thankful. Yeah. And, and it, and it doesn't get old. How, and how long you know, the up, are you? Yeah. Uh, I had top at the end of November. Oh my God. So you're still so new, but it's like, I'm a year and a half in or whatever it is. And I still not over it. Every shower, every time I'm just chilling in bed, sitting with my pillows against like the bed and just like scrolling or whatever I'm doing with not a shirt on. It's just amazing. It just feels amazing. And I never get over it. It, it still feels great. And that's like, yeah, yeah I, I'm really happy that you're experiencing that too. Mazel tov, honestly. Thank you. It means so much. Uh, I like how you show up for the community. You've been so open uh, in your Instagram with showing your experience and your euphoria around it. And I think that really brings awareness to how important and happy that makes people to be in a body that reflects themselves. Yeah, 100%. 100%. It's just no better feeling than being like feeling good as you. And, and you know what? And I never judge. So when, you oh know. God. Yeah, go ahead. One of the only downsides of top surgery is now I need all new shirts. That might be so. That might be so. What better shirt than Dyke? I see. I see this strategic move. EJ, very impressed by and a strategic call. It is not lost on me. How else can I get Dyke Bites to Canada? They won't send it across the border. So I have to send it to you. This call is strategy on strategy on strategy. Do you understand that this is a caller who has watched the show week after week and inherited that business acumen, which is always the undertone of everything we do here at the end of the day, whether you like it or not, we end up saving you money. We end up strategizing. This is an unbelievable call. This is a pure nail call. This call, EJ, this is a quick and easy elevator pitch in which you've nailed. If this was Shark Tank for the sweatshirt, which it's not, not, we might have a deal. We might have a deal. It's not the most emotional call, 
okay? It's not, it's not the most helpful to me call, but it makes a very strong strategic case. You can't get the sweatshirt on the website because you're in Canada. And even though the website claims it ships to 40 countries, Canada isn't one of them. Our neighbors to the north. And Bryson keeps denying. I keep going. You know, like people are logged up in Canada. They really want the sweatshirt. They can't get it. I'm getting DMs. And he's like, many people. He goes into his Trump mode. You know his Trump mode. He goes, many people in Canada are getting the sweatshirt. I got, I'm getting these DMs. I don't think people are lying. And here we have EJ in the flesh confirming what I suspected. EJ, thank you for this call. You are definitely in the running for the sweatshirt. Guys, we will take one last call. But before that, before that, I am reminding you that we are here every week now. Thursdays at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern Time for the Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group show. We are following me on all socials, Twitter, Instagram, and now more than ever on YouTube. We're smashing the like on videos. We're playing them even when we're not in the room. We're getting me into the YouTube business. We are supporting the show most importantly and everybody who helps run the show at planetscum.live. Drop down Robbie Hoffman Dykevice or Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. Yes, you are contributing every week. Just like if you came to the show every week live, I don't want to hear it. Next week, I will be revealing the winner of the vintage Dyke Vice sweatshirt, which I will sign on the air. You will get the very one that I am wearing. I will sign it and I will send it to you. Bryson, who is the final caller, final contestant in the running for the vintage Dyke Vice sweatshirt? For those of you, who did not win the sweatshirt, you will get whatever is remaining of the sweatshirt on planetscum.live slash merch. Limited quantities until sold out. Some sizes already sold out. Bryson, who is our final caller tonight? We have Catherine on the line. Catherine, how can I? Oh, Robbie Hoffman <laughs> Consulting Group. How can I help you? See, it's awkward because I want to know why you want the sweatshirt. I don't want to help you. Right. Okay. Well, right. first off, I'm so nervous. That's why I'm here. Um, you don't got to be nervous. I'll be nervous for you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, I watch every Thursday, just like love, love, love. Thank and you. And I actually, I actually have an important question. I really want the sweatshirt. Yeah. Makes I sense. I just don't know that I deserve it. Yeah. Um, but. A, a little context before my question. Um, I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm, okay. I'm wearing my. Uh, I know who this set. is. Set. Yeah. What are you wearing? So I. This is psychotic that you're doing this. Head to toe. This is the most psychotic <laughs> call I have ever gotten in my life. For those who know, no. you know. Quick, quick, quick question. Quick, quick question. Yeah. I just, I just, I just want to know if you want to be my Valentine. I would love to be your Valentine, Catherine. I would love to be okay. your Valentine. Catherine, do you, do you go by another name? Is Catherine, what is, what, do you have, is Catherine like, you know how like sometimes like Catholics, like they either have John in front of the name and then they have, you know, like the or, or Paul, but then they go by Ian, like the middle name, you know what I mean? And then the girls have like Catherine or they have like Marie, but they go by like Leslie. You know what I mean? So I'm just wondering, right. is right. there another name? Yeah, no, like they go by like, right. I mean, yeah, first name Catherine, um, middle name Crosby. Like oh, they go by. Okay, because I was going to say I already have a Valentine <laughs> whose name is Crosby, but, you know. Okay, this is so crazy, babe, that you're doing this. Can I put my vote in? Yeah, I'm fine. Put your vote in. Go ahead. This is insane. I mean, I want it, but I think I, I vote EJ. Okay, okay. What, were, what did you say that you were wearing? 
my ju- a Juicy Couture original early 2000s set. Where did you blue. get that? From my girlfriend, who is the CEO of the Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group. So happens I was able to track down a Juicy Couture 2000, a 2000 outfit. Okay, not the juicy coming out now. A vintage juicy couture tracksuit because people are chilling a lot at home. Why not feel good in your lounge wear? Okay, and I was able to track it down, and you will not be able to track down the Dyke Vice sweatshirt. It will be rarer to find than this juicy couture tracksuit. Catherine, why do you think you should have this sweatshirt? Uh, I mean, I don't. I really want it. I feel like I'm not putting my name in the running because I think maybe I can steal yours or something. But I'm giving mine away. I'm giving mine away. It's coming next week, and we have to give it away. Oh, oh, then I want it because I the things that I deal with. I mean, my God. Okay, this is an angle. This is taking a call. This is taking a turn. The things that you do. So you feel. For the hardships in your life, okay, dealing with maybe a particular person, you deserve this Dyke Vice sweatshirt. Would this would this make up for all the hardships? Is the question because that could be a very good case. I think literally every single hardship it would. Uh, yeah, I think it would. Solve okay, it all. so we nullify the hardships. Okay, so you so okay so would so this would mean that anything that you could potentially be mad at, you would no longer be mad at <laughs> if, if given the Dyke Vice vintage sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, uh, one hundred. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, Catherine, I am pleased to let you know that you are definitely in the running. You are seriously. <laughs> in the running for this sweatshirt you're very much i can't say it now we're going to reveal next week but i will say you have a fair shot at the sweatshirt thank you okay. for calling miss Catherine. thank you goodbye goodbye guys tune in Next week, we have had amazing cases for who should have the Dyke Vice sweatshirt. We've had strategic calls. We've had emotional pleas. Okay, we've had personal pleas. Tune in next week to Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group to see who won the sweatshirt. Follow me on all these socials. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next week. I'm going to be the first therapist to tell you exactly what to do. 